Well, hello, YouTube. So, we have a big upgrade for the Stormbrand character, who I almost stopped playing just yesterday, or I guess two days ago when you were seeing this. I nearly gave up on it and re-rolled because I just, it wasn't feeling great and I couldn't see a way to get it to enough DPS. But I spent about three hours on the path of building off stream and we ended up with what we're seeing in the background here, which is uh, now 2.4 million DPS and now still also has plenty of extra things it can do to get some more damage. So its clearing is way better now. We also increased uh, the Impulsor Explosions damage by enough that it is now full clearing screens as well. Um, between that and getting over, a little over double our DPS, actually nearly two and a half times the DPS we had last time, uh, it's shaping up to feel quite good. You can see in the footage in the background, we lost a little bit of life and a little bit of energy shield, but the build was already deceptively tanky. So it is still pretty tanky right now. We did also add in permanent righteous fire, which is great and feels amazing. Uh, we can still run minus max or less regen maps, but for that, we do have to take off Righteous Fire, which brings us from you know, 2.4 million to I think it's 1.7, which is still 70% more damage than we had yesterday. But I just tend to reroll them because I really enjoy having 2.5 million DPS. So, looks quite good to me. Over into the path of building for what chain? Now, over here on the path of building, we changed a lot. Uh, we changed a lot. Uh, for anyone who sees this one node here, that's because I just got a level and it's the most amount of damage I can get out of one point. Uh, obviously, precision will be my next one, or I may put in a jewel. I will probably put in a jewel. But we did a little bit of repathing. We no longer go through Witch here at all. That, that just doesn't happen. We now go over the top. Uh, we're still getting these. We've changed to the real, the, the good recoup wheel instead of this one. Though technically we are in a position to get both. And I will play with that later when I have enough damage. Because right now I, I couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to spare another passive point for more defenses. Our, our defenses are already quite good despite only having 2000 available life um it just doesn't it just doesn't feel very squishy at all so i'm not worried about getting this second recoup wheel at least yet uh, however we did respec all the way across the top here we've even we've even lost throat seeker which would be a huge damage up but i just don't have the points for it uh we've picked up a second reservation wheel right here to get our 30 percent life res because this one has the uh, this one has the mana res on it. Obviously, it doesn't matter which way around you go. Uh, we've given up this whole shadow area. Uh, we've given up the option of coming down here at all. You can see I actually currently have Divine Judgment anointed because I don't even need the Champion of the Cause anoint anymore, um, which has been a little bit interesting. Uh, we've done this into a Cluster Jewels. Now, I haven't worked out... Oh, this is actually taken. This is actually taken in-game. I don't know why path of building keeps loading that not taken. Uh, but we've gone into a cluster jewel setup. I've just got my old jewel that's just a little bit of resin corrupting blood immunity. Um, I have one crit jewel here and one blast freeze is the most important thing here and overshock, which is not very important. But blast freeze is important. That's up to our defenses a lot. That just makes if we can freeze one thing, everything is frozen. But this is these are not, I don't think, the most optimal jewels these are the jewels that were available on my incredibly limited budget um i did get this watcher's eye for 30 chaos which capped our crit uh but now we've gotten more crit and i don't actually think it does anything anymore so we're gonna have to look at that <laughs> it was a 30c jewel but i i think i'm nearly crit capped without a diamond flask now so that's pretty cool but we're not worried too much about that. Snowstorm definitely, definitely will be in the cluster jewel I want. And the leech will definitely be in the cluster jewel I want. This node, 
pretty pretty inefficient not not great it's just something but these two this is the best for damage and this is where i get my life leech now which we definitely need life leech because we do have over leech in the build so it's great so this setup this change got me a bunch of damage it also meant i got to run ratchet's fire um i'm a little bit what is going on there am i not on consecrated ground yeah, yeah, we're always on consecrated ground. It lingers. We can't not be. Right, there we go. Uh, so we did change a few things. Um, I was playing around with using Purity of Fire Mana Reservation Efficiency gloves. I ended up not using them because Purity of Fire has ended up in the shield. So these gloves, it's just mana reservation efficiency, unfortunately. So that, that literally does nothing. So don't get debated by that at all. Uh we have otherwise the only other big thing we changed is we did get a new belt and boots to accommodate this ring so 10 percent increased life reservation efficiency of skills this is a delve mod can only be found in delve and sometimes can be found fractured in delve so you can just pick one of these up i suggest a chaos resistance base because we are desperate for chaos res and I threw some dex essences on it, just some baby ones, because I need a little bit of dex and a little bit more strength. And I got both of those things in crafted life. It's not great. Um, it would be affected by a life and mana catalyst. So if you needed to pump that up to 12, you could, but I didn't need to. Uh, other than that, we all we did was just to get a belt and a pair of boots to fix our reses up. They're, neither of them are very good. They don't have anything special on them. They're not influenced. Um, our boots are just life and res and move speed, just everything like normal. This is the same wand I picked up for like 30C, like the first day I was playing it. Um, this is the same glorious vanity I was using, except now I'm not even using any points in it. I'm literally only using it for Corrupted Soul. I really wish I could find a better place for it, but I just, I really can't. Uh, it is very struggling for points. We are very struggling for points. But so far, now I'm actually super happy with it. Now that we're doing two and a half mil DPS, it actually feels good to play. It feels good to map on. We have been running juiced maps. It's great. It's still not super fantastic on boss at only 2.5 mil. I, I, I consider that a little bit low for single target. But I do think now that I see it like this, that with some better gear some better jewels and the right cluster jewel setup, which I still have to work out, that I'll probably be able to pump it up to four, four and a half-ish. And I think that'll be around its upper limit. That being said, four, four and a half-ish mil on brands on a build this tanky, mm, super good to play. Very much enjoying it. Very happy I stuck with it. I will link this path of building in the description. I'm very excited with this setup, but... I can't guarantee it won't change. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, nothing in this build is solved. Uh, anything could change at any moment. And this entire side of the tree, especially this bit, just is very empty and it's a lot of travel and I'm not convinced that it's right, but it's also the very best thing I've been able to come up with. But it looks wrong. The whole tree looks wrong, but also I can't find a way to make it better. So, um... We're still trying. There might still be more changes. Uh, but for now, this is how I'm running it. It has been a huge, huge increase in mapping speed, clear speed, boss killing ability, everything like that. Um, feels much, much better now. Very surprised that it still feels quite tanky. I think a lot of it might have to do with blast freeze, but that's fine. Um, the only other change I made was I did end up swapping back to regular petrified blood um i was using the anomalous version uh but i found that i hated the much larger degen that it has over four seconds especially now that i'm running righteous fire so i did give up a decent amount of my regen to be able to run righteous fire and now i i don't want that degen from the old petrified blood that much so that is it part of the building in the description 
still super excited to play this build i have started an actual atlas strategy that i'm i'm now like blasting maps and making money so hopefully over the next two days we see some pretty good like more expensive version of this build come about i'd love to start using some influence mods and get a better weapon and jewels and all sorts of things i got tons of plans but yeah they're all to come now that i'm earning money all right that is it for today i will see everybody later goodbye